Welcome to Drill Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit, one drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. Hi, and welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. I really enjoy drawing on location, and then I really like to pack light as well. I mean, I don't want to schlep around with a lot of brushes and a bottle of water and a cup to hold the water in and all that. Sometimes it can be good to do that because, you know, good brushes make a whole difference. But if you want to pack light and um, you are just going from place to place, then a water brush is very, very handy. And I'll show you what it is and how you can use it. The water brush is kind of an ingenious thing. The brush itself is synthetic, but it's quite soft and um, it works really well. And then the handle of the brush is actually a container that holds the water. So you fill it with water. You can fill it from a glass, which I am doing here. It's a little bit messy. I mean, you can just hold it under the tap and fill it that way. And once it's filled, you just screw the brush on top squeeze a little bit in the handle and that will feed the brush with water. So instead of dipping your brush in water, you're feeding it from the handle. And then you can paint. While you are painting, you can also squeeze a little bit in the handle. So you feed more water into the brush and that way you can dissolve your paint as well. If you squeeze too hard, like I just did, the paint will puddle. It might take a little bit of practice, but it is really easy to use and it's a lot of fun too. So all you need now is your water brush, your watercolor set, and something to wipe the brush off with. And you're ready to paint. You might have seen this and have wondered what it is. I hope I explained it well. Maybe you already have one. Anyways, for today, an exercise can be make a drawing and color it using your water brush. Have fun. And don't forget to sign up for the new watercolor course at Sketchbook School. It's called Watercolor Rules and How to Break Them. Because this is just a teeny tiny part of using paint and a little bit of water. There's a whole world that is called watercolor and you really don't want to miss exploring that. So head on over to sketchbookschool.com and I hope to see you in class. Bye now.